So for 99% of this song, you only need four chords. The first one is E minor. You take your index finger, first string, second fret. Middle finger, second string, third fret. Ring finger, third string, fourth fret. After that, A major. You take your index, third string, first fret. Middle finger, fourth string, second fret. After that, D major. You take your index finger, fourth string, second fret. Middle finger, third string, second fret. Ring finger, second string, second fret. And the last one is a B minor. This one, you take your index finger, you bar the first three strings on the second fret, then your ring finger, fourth string, fourth fret. The pattern is down, down, up, up, down, up. Down, down, up, up, down, up. Da, 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 da. One and two and three and four and. So if we played with the chords, one, two, three, four, one and two and three and four and down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, da, 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 da. So there are a lot of ways to count it. So that was 99% of the song, but what about that 1%? That's in the last part of the pre-chorus. So this is what it looks like. So not much has changed. The first three chords are the same. E minor, A major, D major. Then for the last chord, you just keep that D major shape and you just remove your middle finger and that is a D7. So that's basically the whole song, just four chords and in the pre-chorus you just add that D7. And the last chord you play to end this song is a D major. So that's it, if you like this video, you learn something, then like and subscribe, check out my other tutorials, this is a very cool and cute song, Cupid Twin Version. Thanks for watching.